Week two of the NFL season uh, went poorly. It went poorly in every way. If your standard is uh, gambling or uh, how your uh, fantasy team did. I was uh, abysmal. I was abysmal in everything I did this week, but it was an interesting week. Rick, do you know who leads the NFL in points? In points? Yeah, who, what team has scored the most points? The Bills? The Buffalo frickin' Bills. Not the <laughs> Patriots, who scored 100 points against the Dolphins and then 85 more against the uh, San Diego Chargers. The Bills have 79 points. They lead the league in scoring. I think the, uh, I don't even think, uh, Who's second? Detroit is second at 75, the Patriots third at 73, and the Packers at 72. Still Those early, are... still early. No, no, obviously. I don't think at the end of the year a guy, a team whose quarterback went to Harvard is going to lead the league in points. I'll give everyone who works here $1,000 if that happens. Why well, if... you got to go after the Harvard guy? Everybody who works at TYT gets $1,000, but if it doesn't happen, everybody at TYT has to give me $20. Is that a bet people are willing to make? Huge payoff. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure I clear $300. The flip side is, perhaps I'm bankrupt. <laughs> Come on, he went to Harvard. Ryan Fitzpatrick went to Harvard. Anyway, it's fantastic, great story. So uh, here's a couple other things about the Bills, because I did some, some look at the, of the, the, the Bills have the worst names of any team with, of skill position players. How, here's why the Bills will never lead the league in scoring. Okay, their quarterback went to Harvard. And their best players are named Steve Johnson, Fred Jackson, and David Nelson. Okay, those are guys who, like, I went to grammar school with. Those are not NFL players. The Bills cannot be expected to lead the league in scoring unless they trade for someone like Jaquiz Rogers. That's a name. Fred Jackson is not the name of a talented NFL running back, but Fred Jackson is so good. My God, I love watching Fred Jackson. He is so cool. You know where Fred Jackson went to college? Rick, I, didn't, I had to look this up. I didn't know it. And this is proof that you never watch Bills games, because if you'd seen a Bills games, you'd know. Do you know where Fred Jackson went to college? Isn't it like some Division three school? Yeah. He went to Coe College. Coe College. It's in, I think, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's a Division three school. Their previous uh, greatest, uh, first, by the, Marv Levy went there. I'm sure every Buffalo fan knows this. I'm sure it's like ingrained. Everybody knows it. It's probably mentioned in every Bills broadcast, but no one ever sees a Bills broadcast. So... Uh, Marv Levy uh, went to Coe College, and so did William Shire, who wrote The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. There you go.